Okay, Wild, well, so we made it. We made it. We made it. Woohoo! So we've just arrived in Wei and we're at the Yuong Resort and Spa. Well, that's how we think it's pronounced anyway. We've got a really nice room here. Actually, really good size. Big bed, actually. Big. Hi. There's the girls next good. door. Hi. How is it, this one? It's good. It's there's nice a, and big, isn't it? There's a bed gap. You like the bed gap, don't you? It's not a proper twin bed if there's no bed gap because then it's just a double bed with two separate mattresses. Good morning. This morning we're out on a tour of five of the best spots of Way with a local guide or a local company. So First stop is the Lim Pagoda. So the Lim Pagoda here was built in the 14th century and the story goes that people used to see a ghost here or a fairy ghost as she was called and one day she told some people that a great leader would pass by here one day and build a pagoda and this is exactly what happened. So Wei was once the ancient capital of Vietnam uh, emperors and rulers built many great monuments here like the Lim Pagoda later we'll see the Citadel Citadel here in Wei was built in 1803 by Emperor Long. It's today a UNESCO World Heritage Site after it suffered a lot of damage in the 1950s. The Way Citadel is quite a large, sprawling complex in the centre of the city. It'll definitely take you a few hours to explore, so make sure you've got some comfortable walking shoes on. Rebecca's making her very own incense oh, stick. Really that could join the 50 million others we have at home in the cupboard. The royal tombs at Wei are only located around 8 to 10 kilometres out of the city centre. They're in an absolutely amazing location set in a valley with forests surrounding them. It's really worth a visit. Uh, you don't need to spend much time there, maybe half an hour, 45 minutes at each, and you'll see everything there is to offer. Once again, the weather in Vietnam was not kind to us when we were in Way. We spent a few weeks in Vietnam and it was mostly overcast, cloudy and raining. <laughs> One of the good things though is that it's always warm in Vietnam whether it's raining or not. You can still get out in the shorts and t-shirt. Hey guys, just noticed something a little bit different here on the menu in Way this morning. They have salt coffee for that again so we'll mix it all up okay so here's the taste test first thing you notice is that is the salt straight off the top uh, the thick foamy head is definitely the salty bit once you get through that there's definitely 
some bitters in it, but actually it's really thick and moorish and uh, leaves really quite a nice aftertaste in your mouth. Okay, we've arrived at the Dong Bar Market here in Hawaii and it's a hide of activity so far. Hello? <laughs> Dried fruits. <laughs> I'd like to think that's chocolate mousse, but I'm probably. Yeah, no, I have a things up here that my wife will want to buy. My shop near step. My shop near step. Your shop? Near step? My shop near step. Okay, I remember. My shop near. Oh, okay. Okay, we're heading back upstairs to re engage the enemy. A bit like Maverick and Top Gun, my wife is about to re-engage with the ladies upstairs. We're in fighter mode. I wouldn't say we actually need any. Okay, so the market experience is over. Grilled pork skin yeah, yeah. and that sticky rice yeah, with green beans yeah, and, green beans, uh, and shrimp powder. Yeah. Okay, so we've just rolled up at our next okay. stop here on the tour. Um, we have a strawberry Vietnamese whiskey. Uh, some of them even have bits of strawberry still in it. It's very tasty and warming. It's quite nice actually. Really nice. Be nice on a really hot day over some ice. We booked a night food tour through Kluke and it was an absolute great experience. Uh, we weaved our way through the market and into the old town, stopping at a number of different places. The real highlight was the Bun Bo Way, which is a local dish. Uh, it was served on the side of the street in a little mum and dad shop. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic. We ended the night with some ice cream before heading back to our hotel. Way was a fascinating city full of history, culture and amazing food. Uh, definitely worth putting way on your itinerary if you're traveling to Vietnam. Probably only need two to three days there like we had. Uh, there's not a great deal there for younger kids. Uh, it's mainly, like I said, history and cultural sites, but definitely worth two to three days in way.